If you want to feel really linguistically inadequate, <laughs> our next guest can be found on YouTube singing Finland's 2018 Eurovision entry, Monsters, in 35 different languages. 35? Not even joking. We are very excited to have this Eurovision legend in the studio. She is Finland's biggest overachiever. She can sing, she can act, she can dance, she can ice skate, as we found out recently, and she represented them in Eurovision last year. It's Sara Alto. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, well done on Dancing on Ice. Thank you. What an achievement. Yeah, it, yeah, it really feels like that. Oh, my God. I mean, was... dancing with knives on your shoes. Yeah, I know. That's that's <laughs> quite the achievement. <laughs> oh, yes. And it was tough for my body. Like, injuries, injuries every week. It was tough. Yeah. And what was the biggest injury you had? Well, my shoulder uh, got dislocated. Oh! So, yeah. So, it's it's not fun. And I twisted my, well, both of my ankles also. So, it's it was quite awful. It's not... <laughs> It's not okay, Sarah. It's not, I know, but you still have to just go on and, and deliver. But, I mean, I love skating, but it, it was it was a lot. Were there ever moments when you were popping your shoulder back into mm. the socket that you thought, mm. maybe I should have just been a baker? Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. I thought of that, like, almost every day. <laughs> but then every Sunday when you're before, and you get that adrenaline and you're like, oh, my God, I, I was able to skate like this. Yeah. It's, it's such a great feeling. Now, I met you last year. Um, if you remember, it was very early in the morning and we were on uh, Good Morning Britain and we were on a boat in the harbour in oh, Lisbon. Yes, it was a beautiful one. sunny day. And uh, it was me, Sarah, Richard Arnold and Ryland. I mean, it doesn't get gayer. <laughs> <laughs> but had you been... Um, you'd never been to Eurovision before that, had you? No. I, no, I've tried to get there twice before in mm. Finland, yeah. but always came second in the yeah okay. in the national final. But yeah, my first time last year. And, and is it as big in Finland as, let's say, Sweden? No, not at all. No. I think in Finland it's about the same as in the UK. So okay. people, you know, mixed feelings. Your song Monsters is an absolute anthem. Oh. Uh, where are you actually singing live whilst being spun upside down? Of course. Yeah, you've really? got to sing, Yeah, you have to sing live. Yeah, you're in Eurovision. You have to sing live. Mm. Yeah, of course. Whilst you're upside down. Of course. That's some abs you have. Yeah, 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 you have to. In, I mean, it was a performance. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you heard Finland's entry this year? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, think? we have Darude. Yes. So. <laughs> the first time I heard it, it was Darude. I was like, well, he doesn't sing, but they yeah. they do they do have a singer, a mm. Sebastian. Yeah. Um, is Sebastian known in Finland? Um, I personally didn't really know him. So he, I think he's more like an ac actor. Oh, okay. So, so he because I don't really watch Finnish TV, but he's acting, mm. but he can also sing. So I, I, I'm looking forward to to seeing the show. But I mean, I did the fin I did see the Finnish uh, show that they did a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and I think the best song won. So he had three songs, and Finnish public voted for the song. Okay. Today. Yeah. I suppose it's like watching someone else sitting in your favorite armchair. It'd be like you watching Dancing on Ice next year. Like that was me. Yes, <laughs> and I, I, I said to Hamish already that I'm going to be jealous. Yeah. You know, next year he's my, he's my boy. He can't <laughs> skate with anybody else. Exactly. <laughs> when you got to Lisbon last year, mm. I mean, it's it's so hard to describe what it's like. But mm. what was your experience? Basically, oh. you just get led around all week. Sarah, we're now going to do this. Now you're going to do this. Now you're going to do this. Like you, I've you, never been to you. You're not your own person, are you? Oh, you've never been I've there. never been. Mm. And all Scott has told me is that it's like it's like nothing else. You you basically mm. become like a mega s superstar for like the time that you're there. And you never have to really think for yourself. You're just <laughs> taken from place to place. Well, that is true, actually. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> And everybody knows you because all the fans are there and they, you know, so it was crazy like that. Mm. But I remember everybody said, oh, my God, it's going to be so hectic. The schedule is so tight and blah, blah, blah. But I'm so used to it that when I went there, the first week was so quiet. I was like, oh, this is a holiday. What's going on? So it depends on how you compare. Yeah. You know, for me, it was actually quite calm. I was like, mm -hmm. because X Factor, all these things that I've done yeah. are really are, intense. Are so much more intense. I think for <laughs> yeah, I think for a lot of the acts, they'll be like, oh, this is busy, and you're like, no, this is normal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you've got a new track, "Dance Like Nobody's Watching." Tell mm -hmm. us about that. Oh, it's it's my favorite song from my album Wild Wild Wonderland, and I've just waited for the right moment to release it as a single. It's such a beautiful message that I wanted to share with the with the world. And you wrote it, and you're I on piano it. on it. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. And uh, I love the music video that we did. It's about a transgender woman and how she becomes a ballerina and becomes herself, basically. And it's such an, an emotional video and story. Is there anything you can't do, Sarah? Uh, I can't you're, you're, make food you at can't, all. You can't okay. cook. No, at all. No, that's fine. You're making up for it in other areas. Yeah, I yeah, think you're doing fine. Yeah. You're a Renaissance <laughs> woman. You do everything. Right. This is going to blow your mind. Go on. Tell Jade about uh, China. What about, about China? China? Oh, I've released one album in Mandarin Chinese. What? Yeah. <laughs> Casual. Mandarin? Just a whole it's album really in Mandarin. Hard. It's so hard, yeah. Can you speak it or just sing in it? Uh, I, well, I've studied, so I, I, I'm able to manage is that a, some a, basic <laughs> stuff but do you have to study chinese at school in finland no 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 no, no, no. you chose to no yeah i just i just love asia i have some connection to asia i don't know what my brother's half chinese and i know no, nothing no, no. about china no. and neither does he to be honest with oh, you okay <laughs> <laughs> I just feel so inadequate language-wise, or generally, just looking at Sarah I mean, here. Mandarin is like so difficult. You, well, I can do English, and you just do, just you do Bristolian. Bristolian. Yeah, that's where I'm from in this country. It's a, a little joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is, there's definitely we definitely have our own language down there. Would you like to learn some Bristolian? Oh my god! Oh, wow, <laughs> this is taking a turn, but this is amazing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so when you want to say uh, something is very good, yeah. or you really like something, you say Gert Lush. Gert. So you say Gert, it's spelled G E R T, and then Lush. Lush. Yeah, so you go Gert Lush. Gert Lush. Yeah, Yeah. that's it. That means that's very good. Very good. Right, I'll (laughs) give you another one. So you see a friend in the street and you want to say, How are you? You Mm -hmm. say, Ow bis. I, I bis. Ow, <laughs> no, that's ow, a hotel. Ow bis. Ow bis. That's it. Ow bis. <laughs> ow bis. Ow bis. It's mad, isn't it? Well, listen, um, good luck with the single. Thank you. And thank you very much, Sarah Alto. Thank, thank, thank you so, you so much, much for having me. <laughs> thank you for coming in. Thank you. Eurovision Calling.